In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, Amen. Lectio Divina. One of the best ways to really profit from sacred scripture or any other holy reading is what is called Lectio Divina. And these are the steps. Lectio, Meditatio, Contemplatio, Oratio, Axio. Those are words in Latin. Let's go briefly through them. Lexio, read the text carefully, prayerfully. Speak, O Lord, for your servant is listening. Meditatio, meditate. Think about it. In imitation of Mary, who pondered the word of God in her heart, we have to learn to have a fresh way of thinking, a spiritual way of thinking, as St. Paul says, and to ponder the Word of God in imitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Contemplatio. Imagine that you're really present with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ as he teaches from the mountain or he's walking on the water or he's healing the sick. Try to be present there. Utilize your imagination to enter into the presence of God, who is your father, your friend, your lover. Then oratio. Oratio means enter into prayer with our Lord. Talk to him. That's what prayer is. Talking to God. Don't be afraid. Open up your heart and talk to God. He has a great desire to enter into conversation with you. Jesus is your best friend. He's a friend that will never fail you. And then finally we have the word axio. Axio would be action. So you put into practice what you've prayed over. And the best example, one of the best examples we have is the Blessed Virgin Mary. She meditated upon the Word of God in her heart. There we have the Annunciation. Then the Visitation, Mary goes in haste to bring the good news of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to her cousin Elizabeth, who was expecting a child. So remember, here's a wonderful method that you can use when, you're, when you have sacred scripture. It's called Lectio Divina. Lectio Read, meditatio, think, contemplatio, imagine, oratio, talk to God, inaxio, put into practice. And if you do that, then you'll have what is called transformatio. You'll be transformed. It's no longer Christ who lives, but it is no longer you who live, but it's Christ who lives in you. Amen.